Shalom. All praise to the Most High. Yahweh, Bashem, I'm Shai, Bashem, Makakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the brother who reflect, pushing his word of truth and sincerity. I'll be back with another article here. It's uh, entitled Dr. Fauci Finally Said It. Crown Royal 1 9 Jabs Might Be Mandatory for Some People. Okay. So Dr. Fauci has said Dr. Fauci has said that the jab might be mandatory for some people. And I'm just gonna kind of read through this article here. Uh let's see. It says most of the farewells to 2020 that you've no doubt seen by now, along with all the commentary about how much better 2021 will hopefully be, rely on one major thing coming to fruition this year. On pretty much a global basis, everyone has their fingers crossed that this will be a better year as a direct consequence of the rollout of a jab to as many people as possible. Indeed, the jab from drug makers like Pfizer and Moderna can't come soon enough for the people who haven't gotten the jab yet. According to calculations from CNBC, the U.S. is recording at least 181,998 new Crown Royal 1-9 cases every day, along with at least 2,313 uh, related deaths. Based on a seven-day average of data collected by Johns Hopkins University, however, the same way that much of the U.S. response to the Crown Royal One Nine pandemic throughout 2020 was a combination of half-baked, misguided, counterproductive, and so like a, uh, was a combination of half-baked, misguided, and counterproductive. The rollout of jabs in the U.S. thus far has been extraordinarily slow. So far, according to Bloomberg's jab tracker, a little more than 3,000, so like 3 million jabs doses have been administered in the U.S. compared to that, so like compare that to the fact that 20 million Crown Royal 19 cases have been identified in the U.S. thus far, which help explains why the White House health advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, just made an important prediction about the ongoing jab campaign. It says, in an interview with Newsweek, Dr. Fauci speculated that there will probably be some instances where getting the jab might be required for certain people, such as those who are traveling. Everything will be on the table for discussion. Dr. Fauci, who will be a key medical advisor within the incoming uh, Biden and Harris administration, told the magazine. And here's at least one key point about that to understand. It says, I'm not sure. <laughs> Check this out. I'm not sure the jab is going to be mandatory from a central government standpoint like the federal government mandates, he said, adding that there are certainly institutions instead that will likely require people to be jabbed, like schools and travel-related entities of that. Dr. Fauci already is already sure. So he's thinking that um, schools and travel, you know, such as either travel from state to state, you know, or, or flights, you know, if you want to travel by plane, just whatever, uh, you will probably be required to have the jab, okay? Likewise, Dr. Fauci expects school systems to require the jab, though that mandate wouldn't come from the federal, from, from the federal level. And see, that's what we've been telling you. We've been telling you that we're not saying that the federal government will mandate it, but the private institutions, they will. They will. Uh, and it, it could go as far as, um, you know, uh, 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 requiring a jab to go, to go in certain stores, 
Uh, I, I know they was talking about doing certain sporting, like sporting events, concerts, you know, different things like that. If you want to be uh, integrated back into society or be an integral part of it, uh, they're they're going to require you to get the jab. It just is what it is. Uh, what what will you do? Uh, it says a citywide school system might require it in some cities, but not other cities. And that's what I mean by things not being done centrally, but locally, he said. Uh, talk of a requirement of any kind when it comes to a jab will no doubt be met with a wave of opposition. So like, even now, a number of polls like this one have produced similar results. In October, for example, a survey by the American Nurses Association found that one third of 13,000 nurses said they, would, they wouldn't they would voluntarily take the jab. For those and other reasons, Dr. Fauci also lamented during an appearance on NBC's Today's show this week that the U.S. still has quite a long way to go in terms of the jab efforts. We would have liked to have seen it run smoothly and have 20 million doses into people today by the end of 2020. So this is on the, uh, the 31st, which was the projection. He said, obviously, it didn't happen. And that's disappointing. There really has to be a lot more effort in the sense of resources for the locals, namely the states and cities and the counties, the places where the jab is actually going into the arms of individuals. But, uh, just a uh, there was just a little quick article on on that 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 him uh Dr. Fauci is actually um stating that if there is a possibility that the smaller institutions will require the jab you no know, not not from a federal level but you know on the smaller level on the uh the local and the state level uh and city okay all right, so I just want to get a few scriptures. This is Revelation chapter 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And you got to remember, they spake as a lamb, you know, with two horns. You know, because you got to think about it. That's why the the federal government is not they they may not mandate it, but the local is you know the local um, city and state might do it. You know, so they they play on both sides. You know, the to try to show that hey, the federal wants to help you, but you know the local you know the local stuff want to do what they own they own thing. Okay, so I mean you got to pay attention to that, uh, and we gotta get this. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And once again, this jab is a precursor to that mark. Okay? Is 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 a part of B it's a part of that B system. Okay, but that's just all I had on that, you know, that little short article there. And uh so you just be on the lookout, you know, because they this this jab might become mandatory, you know, not not in a whole as a whole on a federal level, but you know, different different little institutions or different, you know, different companies or you know, just whatever might begin to make this thing mandatory. So just be on the lookout and, you know, just continue to watch and pray. And so I hope you edify it. Shout out